Hi there! I thought I would show you my craft room today since this is one of the few occasions that it's actually clean. In this room I obviously do embroidering as you've seen in my previous videos. I also do some sewing, paper crafting, and I make hair accessories as well. So I'm going to give you a really brief tour of my craft room and hopefully it'll uh, be interesting to you and maybe you'll get some ideas for your own craft room, whether it's an entire room or just a little corner in your house. And if you'd like to see anything in more depth, I'll include it in a future video. So here is the entrance to the room. This is actually supposedly a formal dining room, but our family is not very formal and we just preferred to eat in the main living area. So I claimed this room recently as my own. And let's take a look at it. Here is a clothes rack where I keep some sewing projects that I occasionally do and a little bit of storage. Its main purpose though is to hide the litter boxes that are behind it. That was the only caveat to this room is that I had to share it with the little cat bathroom. Over here is a grouping of three tables. They're all from Ikea. And I thought it would be easiest to have them all in the center of the room so that I can walk around them and then also use the perimeter of the room for storage as well. Right here is where I do my paper crafting. That's a silhouette. And I also make my hair accessories here. Here is my uh, Sizzix Big Kick machine, which I just recently got and I'm learning to use. And then this is my sewing table. That is a sewing machine and a serger. Over here is my embroidery table, and here are the two embroidery machines that you're probably familiar with if you watch my videos. And what I like about this particular desk is that it's got this little extension here that can go underneath the desk, or you can pull it out if you need more space. And here I've got a little chair for guests to keep me company. This is where I store the majority of my fabrics and patterns. These uh, two bottom rows here are all fabric storage, and then half of this third row here, and a little bit on the fourth. I've got miscellaneous craft supplies, and then those binders hold sewing patterns. And here I've got some vinyl and some other craft supplies. These blue bins over here, those are just uh, clothes for my kids that are out of season. And then I got some felt up here too. And here are some stabilizers, elastics, and small notions. This is my very minute scrapbooking collection. I've got an ironing board here. This is my cutting table. And this pegboard was installed and painted by my husband. And it's super, super useful. I highly recommend a pegboard if you can, if you can get one. Here is where I store all of my ribbon, uh, miscellaneous craft supplies, um, a little bit of uh, extra thread goes here too. And then underneath the table right here, that's where I store my embroidery thread, stabilizer, and other miscellaneous supplies. And then there's a little bit more fabric under here too, and those roasting pans are for making corker ribbon. And then we've got our printer. Got a laminator. This right here is for office supplies. It's known as a teacher toolbox. I'll try to find a link to that and post it below because it was really useful in getting me organized. Um, the microscope is uh, belongs to my kids. More fabric. And this is where all my office and shipping supplies are. This um, bookcase, in addition to the black one behind me, are uh, both from Ikea. And then this is all of my product that I have in my Etsy shop right now, so quite a bit. And then the file cabinet stores um, more sewing patterns, like the actual pieces, and then the envelope instructions are go in that binder. And then here we are, full circle. Those pink things are headband displays. And um, some serger thread and a couple other miscellaneous things right here, so it's kind of a little bit of a messy area. So there you have it. If you have any questions or want to see anything in more detail, let me know. I uh, wanted to keep this video short because sometimes these type of videos get kind of long and tedious. 
So I figure I would just give you an overview and you can ask me to show you in more detail whatever you are interested in. So if you like the video, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I love it if you left a comment as well. Let me know what you think and if you have any uh, requests for future videos. Thanks for watching.